All right, so let's talk about resistor combinations in series. Well, first, what does series mean? Series means no choice. The current does not have a choice. It goes through one of the resistors, it got to go through the next one. That's what I mean when I say series. So a series combination will look like this. You've got one resistor, then the other one right there in series. So that the current, if it's going to go through R1, got to go through R2. All right, so the current has to be the same. Whenever I have any number of resistors connected in series, all of them have the same current. All right, so what does that mean? Well, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to find an effective resistance that plays the role of this whole network, both of these guys together. And we're going to say, all right, instead of writing two separate resistors, I want to write just one. And I want to know what should that resistance be in order that the potential difference across this combination is the same as the potential difference across this effective resistor. All right, so what is the potential difference here? Well, it's going to be the potential difference across R1 plus the potential difference across R2. Ohm's law tells us that that's minus I R1 minus I R2. So that's across the series network. But what about across the effective resistor? Well, it's just going to be minus I R series. So then all we need to do is say, I want the potential differences to be the same. So minus I R1 minus I R2 needs to equal minus I R series. We'll cancel out all the minus I's and we get R series is just R1 plus R2. So to add resistors in series, it's the easiest thing that could possibly be. You just add the two resistances. All right, so if I've got a two amp current flowing through a three ohm resistor connected in series to a four ohm resistor, that's the same thing as a two ohm, or sorry, two amp current going through an effective combination of seven ohms. So the potential difference is negative 14 volts, IR. All right, the important thing to remember about series is that whenever you add resistors in series, it increases the resistance of the whole network. One way to think about series combinations is like Christmas lights. One goes out, they all go out. Because if one goes out, then that means that the current going through that guy is zero. But current has to be the same in series. So that means all of the currents go to zero. You've got just kind of this open circuit that's not working. So anyway, that's connections of resistors in series.